Hi, I'm G. Taboris Taylor, owner and CEO of Taboris Intelligence Asset Group. I'm an author, presenter, trainer, and nationally known as certified John Maxwell and ICF Life Coach, who is passionate about adding value to the lives of others through coaching, mentoring, leadership development, consulting, training, and personal growth initiatives. I have over 20 years of expertise in training, speaking, coaching, and consulting on transformation leadership, soft skills, teamwork, cultural competency, selling value, conflict resolution, relationships, personal development, change creation, and personal communication that will trigger and elevate your positive mental energy, taking your life and business to the next level. The Boris Intelligent Asset Group is a passion about adding value to the lives of others through leadership development, consulting, executive VIP coaching, mentoring, training, and personal growth initiatives. Our expertise is taking your life and business to the next level, whether it's dealing with social media etiquette, smartphone addiction, coaching or sales training, we can help. When management or employees become stuck in old habits, or struggle with behaviors critical for long-term growth, coaching supports them in overcoming resistance to change, aiding those leaders and employees with their outer and inner school board to help them discover where their happy meter really is. We help develop a curriculum, training and development with key strategies and industry best practices that focuses on the most productive and most effective skills of managers and employees to get the buy-in from employees keeping them motivated and engaged, ultimately increasing productivity and profitability for your organization, subsequently driving success. A happy employee is a productive employee. Employees don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Our real world sales training is an innovative design approach to improve employee performance through proven strategy. Our team has over 20 years of commercial sales experience and we'll teach sales employees how to prospect effectively, qualify leads, secure appointments, uncover, isolate, and identify stated and hidden objections, gatekeeper secrets, as well as utilize our four closed techniques to generate business. We provide in-house workshops and seminars and keynote speaking to associations and organizations such as Mindset Reboot for Millennials, Generation X, Y, and Z, Think for Self Brainasium, Digital Boot Camp, Lunch and Learns, Conscious Confidence, Turbocharging Creativity and Innovation, Overcoming Sales Objections, Team Building, Social and Interpersonal Skills, Conflict Strategies, and Cyber Mind Self Esteem Reasoning Seminar. When management or employees become stuck in old habits or struggle with behaviors critical for structural change, coaching supports them in overcoming resistance to change. During consultation, we identify the areas of concern and objectives together and decide on steps necessary to create a transformation in the organization's culture, skills, and relationships. Implementation and ongoing consultation will begin assisting leaders in the transformation of the organization. Life is unpredictable than short, but more unpredictable than short. When you make all those withdrawals from the emotional bank account without making any positive deposits, it leaves your happy meter bank account out of balance with insufficient funds, putting your life's confidence on a collision course with emotional bankruptcy. My goal is not to reach every person, but the right person, because negativity and comparing yourself to others is the thief that steals your happiness. Let's take that mask off and meet the real you. Let's stop ignoring those pink elephants in the room and create an environment to talk about difficult things that divide us and use our emotional intelligence to create positive outcomes. Emotional intelligence and agility in a digital world is very key. The internet has revolutionized the way that we live and work. This generation communicates much more differently than previous generations. And if your social and interpersonal skills are not intact, it can have severe consequences and pitfalls. We're all faced with challenges each and every day. 
whether they be personal, whether they be business related, you have to maintain your emotional intelligence or you can risk losing it all from just an emotional response. The type of consequences that can result from an emotional response to a text, tweet, post, email, or voicemail can have very lifelong consequences. Take for instance, Roseanne Barr, a very well-known American actress, comedian, and her lack of judgment, with all her brilliance and intelligence, her emotional intelligence was not intact. She ended up costing herself millions because she could not handle her emotions. And those type things are very key in a virtual and digital world. You have a permanent transcript of anything and everything that you say. You're always on the record, whether you're out in public, or you're at a business, you're in your own private home or a friend's home. In any venue, there are over 300 million cameras all around. And you really have to ask yourself, is it really worth it? Yes, you can be justified in responding. It will make you feel good in that immediate moment. But the long-term consequences and the impact that it has, not only on adults, not only on young people, no one is immune to it, no matter what your social status is. It can have dire consequences and in some cases can ruin your career. Some of the real world human engagement exercises that business can implement, especially in today's virtual and digital world, where it seems like everyone has a severe dependency or electronic imbalance with internet, social media, smartphones, because they're everywhere. And that kind of crosses over into personal accountability and work responsibility. But some of the things that you can do is team building exercises to get the buy-in from those employees. The workforce is getting younger and younger and they communicate a lot different than previous generations. Their attention span is a lot shorter. So they're used to being pat on the back versus being disciplined for seemingly anything that goes on with them. And some of the things that, that you can do is find out where their happy meter is with their current career. How would you like to work five hours or less per week and triple your income? That is a great conversation start to really find out what type of employee you have. Some other things that you can do is called a DISC assessment, the DISC training, to find out what type of mental aptitude each and every employee has, whether or not they have a dominant personality, whether they're inspiring, whether they are supportive. And those are just some of the things that businesses can implement in, in today's ever-changing uh, workforce. Uh, it's very difficult. Life throws us challenges that not everyone is equipped with the social and soft skills to deal with stress, depression, and rejection. So it's an uphill battle, but once employees know that you care, then they really care, and that's how you get the buy-in from employees. Some of the real-world engagement exercises that families can implement is a two-pronged approach. Uh, I can recall when I was a young 21 year old when I thought I had all the answers to all of Einstein's questions. But now it's an ever-changing world. We're, we're all somewhat fascinated by what social media allows us to do. It lets us escape from the real world and allows us to go into the virtual world and be whatever we want for that downtime. But for the average individual who hasn't developed the coping mechanisms to deal with stress, rejection, build their self-esteem, build meaningful human relationships. Here's some things that you can really do is once a week, just for five minutes, do a mental checkup with your millennial or your young ones or your adult sons and daughters. Find out where their happy meter is in life because everyone is going through something in the real world. In the virtual world, everything looks like it's hunky-dory, 
I have a million likes, I have 400 friends. Even though they've never been to your house, they don't know what the color of your bathroom is. But that's what we call a friend and a follower. But here are some very key exercises that you can do. For one, special family time. Everyone has to tell about their day. How was their day? What did you learn today? What didn't you like about your day? How could it have been better? What could you have done to make someone else life better? A random act of kindness goes a long way. And I know everyone is working 23 hours a day and getting seven hours of sleep, and I just don't have enough time throughout the day to get done what I need to get done because I have work, I have the Atlanta commute, and then I have pick up kids from school, get them to soccer practice, take them to therapy, take them to after school programs. I know it seems like it's a lot, it's overwhelming, but this generation is reaching out for our help. They speak a different language. Instead of judging them, we need to hold their hand. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this Jetsons Renaissance. No one ever thought that there would be FaceTiming your boss, having robots for friends and pets, counting lights, but this is the age we live in. And we just have to have that difficult conversation and come up with a comprehensive solution to move forward. Because we don't want this generation to suffer at the fate of technology without learning the social and interpersonal skills they're gonna need long after we're gone. The type of impact that my training and workshops and seminars have had on previous clients is that in the workplace, if you work the nine to five, if you're an inspiring entrepreneur, the last word you wanna hear outside of your fire is, we have mandatory training. And most people's minds say, oh, just something useless that's going to disrupt my day checking my Facebook Messenger, see how many likes I got on this post. But what they really find is that, oh my God, this guy is really engaging me, asking me for my input, getting the buy-in from me within the first five minutes of training. And I can't tell you how many millennials and young people and business owners have said, my goodness, how were you able to use this information to not have everyone stepping outside to go take a smoke break, a water break, or a smartphone break. They really were engaged for the entire hour. And that's what we're all about, is engaging you mentally, socially, not judging you, giving you real world scenarios. What would you do? Where is your happy meter? In your job, in your life in your relationship, only you know. There are so many things that divide us, whether it's race, politics, religion, we're never gonna agree on those. But what we can agree on, would you like to triple your income and work five hours less a week? Would you like to keep more of your money? Would you like to learn some of the secrets of business in less than 15 seconds by asking those three questions to any and every listener, every participant, every client, we have an open dialogue and we can brainstorm and come up with a solution and exchange ideas and build relationships with complete strangers. That's what being Taboris Intelligence is all about. We actually give what we proclaim that we can. And that is, Dare I say, you have a dependency on electronic balance for internet and social media and smartphones. At the end of the day, you have to be able to thrive in the real world. In the real world, there's money, there's success, there's failure, time and time again. And that's what life's all about. Life's a game of chess. You can't keep making checker moves in a game of chess. You're doomed for failure. So. I would love to have you as a new client, and that way you can share in the Taboras experience. You'd be pleasantly surprised at what we can do for you and your organization.
Hi, do you like to uh, contact the Taboras Intelligence Asset Group? We can be reached at 404-969-5124. Our website is www.tiagllciad.com. I can be reached via email at Taboras that's T-A-B-O-R-I-S at T-I-A-G-L-L-C I-A-D dot com On social media I can be reached on Facebook and Instagram at T-I-A-G-L-L-C I-A-D and on Twitter I can be reached at at G-T-A-T-L-I-A-D.